Hi, my name is Lee, and I'm close to the edge. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am, and we are back with Yes, and we are tackling a big one today, Close to the Edge, if you couldn't have guessed. Um, <laughs> this song is a behemoth. It is almost 20 minutes long, so I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to get right into it. If you guys aren't subscribed, please... Help a brother out and click the icon that is right below my ugly mug. I would really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds. Uh, it's absolutely free. And I'd really appreciate it. I'll just wait a couple seconds so you can do it real quick. Oh, sorry. Good? Okay. All right, let's go. Yes. Close to the edge. Three, two, one. Let's fucking go. It's such a weird album cover, like the such a weird color green. It's like uneasy almost. Like you're close to the edge. Oh, I'm on fire, fuck. Let's do it. That was to like set the mood. Okay. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. What the fuck? Holy fuck. What an intro, huh? <laughs> That's great. This sounds modern. Like, this does not sound like this came from, like, over 40 years ago now. This is a workout for that damn drummer, man. Holy fuck. I'm like stupefied, bro. Holy fuck. This is incredible. <laughs> this sounds like modern prog. Like, what the fuck? My brain can't compete that this is old. What a cool little ref, I like that. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Wow, what a transition, holy fuck. <laughs> Thank you. 
they like hop from one thing to another with like such ease. It's kind of incredible. It's incredible. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Can't talk to me. His voice is so good, it like goes with the music so well. That they were born to like be together. <laughs> That's funky as fuck. <laughs> Bass is so low, like what the fuck? I love it. <laughs> All this makes me think of is they really just don't make them like they used to, bro. They really don't. There's some amazing prog bands nowadays, but like, fuck, this is must have been groundbreaking back in the day. Like, you don't even need drugs to enjoy this, but I think that would just add to it, probably. Reminds me of a dream. <laughs> like, literally. Do you ever stop to think to like like what dreams really are? 
Like I know there's like a scientific explanation, you know, or like your brain's just processing things, but I don't know. I've had dreams that felt like so much more. I don't know. Sorry. I think memories are transferable and they're passed down through genetics and the way that our mind can read a memory best is in like a dream state. And it's like you must like play the memory through. It's happened to me like once or twice. It's a story for another time though. <laughs> it's an interesting one. I have so many thoughts right now, guys. I don't even have enough time to share them all. It's crazy. It's crazy how much the world's changed in 50 years. Get down. Oh, I called it. That was good. <laughs> This is amazing. I love how it slowly just picked up as it's gone along since this it, this part started. They do the heavenly sound like the so well. Like oh my god, it's almost like a shine on their music. And their transitions are just so subtle, but they're so good. It's crazy. Wow, just wow. You guys already know, I don't even have to say anything. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> it almost sounds like video game music, but like this came out before video games really existed. <laughs>
<laughs> Holy shit. I don't even have words, guys. I really don't. <laughs> I've been sitting here this whole time just taking this in and trying to think of what the fuck to say about it. Like, it's just a fucking amazing. Like, seriously. It's like one of the best songs I've ever heard, honestly. <laughs> God, what a line. I get up, I get down. Wow, dude. I'm just going to put that as the description of my video. It's just, I get up, I get down. What a line. I don't want it to end. <laughs> Fuck. God damn. I don't have any other curse words either. Like that's I've used all of them. Jeez. <laughs> there you go. Jeez. One more. Wow, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I didn't start with this. I'm glad I listened to a couple other of their songs before I jumped into this. Because, wow, yeah, you definitely need to know a little, uh, I guess, have a basic understanding of yes before you jump into that. Because, oh, my God. Just give me a sec, guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> First off, that was amazing. Second off, have they played? Obviously, they've probably played that live. Um, how do you play that live? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Okay, all right, all right. Um, yeah, it really got me there uh, in that middle part. Uh, I literally felt like I was in a dream. Like I literally, like I literally almost was. In a, like for like two minutes there, it felt like. I don't know if it was, like, the water dripping that really got it, like, made it for me or what, but, like, wow. I literally started crying there. Um, I didn't really say anything about it because I didn't really, can't really describe it, you know? Uh, but it definitely moved me, uh, this song did, multiple times. Um, There's multiple times in this behemoth of a track that I, I don't even know if I should say it, um, I felt like I was being touched by something, but like not in that way. Um, I literally felt like 
like in my spirit, uh, I literally felt like something was touching it. It was the strangest feeling, honestly. And then like towards the end there, I got like this feeling in my chest that is, it was a good feeling. Um, but I've, I've seen multiple people comment and say that uh, their music does things to people. Um, and it, it, you know, it kind of transcends just music. And uh, I totally felt it on this track. I don't know if I'd felt it on the other ones as much, but yeah, this one, you guys weren't kidding. This definitely is like their magnum opus because wow, I cannot imagine just the time and work that went into this and the practice and the endless hours of just toiling away on one little sound. You know what I mean? Like, wow. Um, just hats off to this whole entire band for this because it was just excellent. The drumming, I mean, I don't even have, like, I couldn't even keep up with it half the time, to be honest, because there was so much going on and... I kind of wasn't focusing on parts in this song. I kind of just let it all overtake me because I, I had a feeling that this one was a good one. Um, just from like the sheer amount of comments and it's an 18 minute song by yes. So you mean it's not going to be bad. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I knew this was going to be great and um, I was prepared for that. And I, did, I, I kind of went into it just not wanting to look or analyze um, so I apologize if I don't really have much analysis. Uh, I just uh, wanted to share how I felt about it. Um, and I told you guys that I had some ideas, you know, halfway through the video. And I'm only going to share one because I know y'all don't want to hear me talk for five hours. So it's kind of crazy how much the world and like the outlook of just everything in general has changed since this time. I mean, this was, what, 20 years after World War II ended, 30, 25, maybe 30. I, um, so that was this, you know, the children of that generation, you know, I feel like them, you know, finding themselves this time period. Um, and it was a, so it seems like it was a beautiful time of exploration and uh, advancement and so many things, you know, the space race, you know. But then like the 80s hit and just, I don't know what it is. I don't want to say it's consumerism or because that's just a Western thing. I mean, I don't know. But for my, it just seems like the outlook of the world has changed. Like, like this just radiates like positivity and, you know, joy and happiness and, you know, empathy and, you know, trying to find your spiritual core and like what you believe in. And nowadays it's just so nihilistic and dark and technical and logical. And that's not a bad thing. Um, but I feel like they try to, they, I oh, there we go saying they again. Um, I just feel like they're trying to put a cap. <laughs> they there. You go. I did it. Fuck. It's like there's like a cap on things, like on joy, on in and sadness. They just want everything to be in the middle, so like you don't really see what's going on. You know, I, I see this whole minimalism and like just that whole you know staying grounded and medium and all that, which that is very good for certain things, and it applies to a lot of things that you know can be helpful as well. But sometimes you have to be super happy or super sad and like feel those highs and lows to really like, Ooh, the lights went out really to like get a grip on what life really is. It feels like, and we're just so cold nowadays and just secluded from each other and just so far away. Like we're so connected, but we're so disconnected from everybody, but ourselves, it feels like, and that's not a way that, we should live life. I don't think that's conducive to happiness. And happiness is only one thing. You know, you can't always be happy. You know, there's, you, you know, there's many other feelings other than happy, you know, that a human should feel. And uh, I don't know. I just feel like we could really use stuff like this to come around again. I know it's not going to. That's a pipe dream. Um, I mean, it might. But I just feel like this era is uh, long gone by this, by today's standards, but it shouldn't be like, this should be what we should strive for. And this is what we should be. Uh, and this music just proves it just how I just felt from them. So that's my spiel. That was great. <laughs> I, I definitely needed to get my feet under me with this band before like tackling this, like I said, um, but it's just fantastic all around. Uh, definitely the best song I've heard. So that's it out of me guys. That was a fun one. Thanks for watching. If you stayed this long, 
I really appreciate you. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I know that I did. If you have any other yes tracks that I should tackle, or you think, because this is kind of like the top of the mountain, but hey, you know, decline is not a bad thing. So we'll check it out. Let me know. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. We have a Patreon, Cash App, PayPal. Check the description. I could really use uh, the revenue and uh, help right now because the family and I are living in a hotel and it fucking sucks. So that's it for me. Take it easy. Bye. Oh, we're going shopping. This baby's going shopping.